We now come to the Deputy Leader of the SNP, Murray Black. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I would also like to begin by thanking all of the staff in our health services across these aisles. And as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of the health services in the UK, I want to reflect on two quotes from two people. The first one is, it's, something, it's about using the private sector more, something we should be very comfortable with. The second quote is, people go as NHS patients to the private sector and we could do more of it. Can I ask the Deputy Prime Minister which quote is from the PM and which is from the Leader of the Opposition? <laughs> well, uh, Mr Speaker, may I actually just begin by saying genuinely how sorry I was to hear that the Honourable Lady will be standing down at the next election. She and I joined this House at the same time, and I know she has contributed much to her party and to this place. And may I also say I'm sure she will wish to join me in celebrating His Majesty King Charles receiving the Scottish regalia pretty much as we speak. There's, there's always time for a Damascan conversion, Mr Speaker. But when, when, when it comes to the NHS, I will take absolutely no lecture from either party on it. It has been there for me, I was born in an NHS hospital. My children were born in an NHS hospital. It's been there for me and my family, and this government has put record funding into it. Very black. <laughs> the, the Deputy Prime Minister, I thank him for his kind words, and we did join this place at the same time, and I'm pretty sure we'll be leaving at the same time. <laughs> that faces the health service across these aisles is workforce. And research shows that Brexit has worsened the UK's shortage of doctors. Yep. European nurses registering to work in the UK fell by 90% after the Brexit referendum. Wow. What more will it take for both him and the Labour Party to admit the damage that Brexit is causing our health services? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it all started off so nicely, Mr Speaker. But, um, <laughs> I don't know whether the Honourable Lady has actually been listening to what the Government has announced this week. We announced an additional £2.4 billion for our groundbreaking NHS workforce plan. That is the first time in the NHS's history that that has happened. And if you look at the record since this party came to power, almost 40,000 more doctors and more than 50,000 more nurses. Once again, the Conservative Party delivering for the NHS. Yeah. 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 Yeah.